가수상 BTS. BTS. BTS, the Korean pop group with an army of fans made up of Jin, RM, J-Hope, Jimin, Jungkook, V, and Suga. You know them and you love them, but did you know that one of the group's rappers says he was tricked into joining the band? That's right, Suga said in a 2013 interview that the founder and co-CEO of big hit entertainment, Bang Si Hyuk, tricked him into joining BTS. So was it all just an inside joke between Suga and Bang Si Hyuk? Or was it really an elaborate master plan by Bang Si Hyuk to get this talented young man to rap his way into the hearts of K-pop fans around the world? Hi, I'm Suga, nice to meet you guys. Sit back as we perform a deep dive into the logistics as to why this could be real, his backstory, does he enjoy being in the band, and what the rapper is up to now that fans are loving Suga even more. Suga's real name is Min Yoon Gi, and the 27-year-old, or 28-year-old if you are going by his Korean age, rapper, composer, and producer joined BTS back in 2010 at the young age of 17. Suga was actually one of the first members of the group, along with RM and J-Hope. But before that, Min Yoon Gi was an up-and-coming rapper, performing under the name Gloss while in high school, making a name for himself as a producer, lyricist, and rapper. In an interview with L magazine, Suga reveals, I have been writing rhymes and lyrics, a habit since I was a kid. They are all the little minor feelings and thoughts that go through my mind. So it was no surprise that after seeing an ad for a rap competition called Hit It, put on by Big Hit Entertainment, he went and placed second. But just because he was runner-up doesn't mean he didn't make a big impression on the label. Yoongi didn't leave empty-handed and was asked to be a producer and trainee with the company. So how does one go from second place in a rap competition to being in one of the biggest K-pop bands in the world? Well, in a 2013 interview, with Rookie King Channel BTS, Suga said, I didn't want to become a rapper. I wanted to become a composer. That's why I joined the agency. There's no denying Suga is a talented composer, producer, and rapper. When he was originally pitched joining a group by Bang Si Hyuk, Suga reveals in the same interview that the big hit entertainment founder and co-CEO tricked him by telling him he would be in a group like one time. He said, I wouldn't have to dance, only groove a little. He said, all I'd have to do is focus on rapping. I actually wanted to be one time. And it seems Bang Si Hyuk also thought the original group would be rap-based, so he wasn't necessarily lying. He told Time Magazine in a 2019 interview, I had considered putting together a hip-hop crew, not an idol group, but when I considered the business context, I thought a K-pop idol model made more sense. So it seems that it was a business and money decision to make the switch from rap to pop, and you better believe that along with changing it to an idol group came some very intense dancing. As fans know, BTS has some of the most complicated choreography of any of the K-pop groups. No simple grooving or two-stepping here, but we are pretty sure the group would still make that look good. What has us thinking Suga is just joking about being tricked into joining BTS is him saying in the Rookie King Channel BTS interview, Three years ago, you and your lie tricked me into signing the contract, producer Bang Si Hyuk. You're so mean. The you're so mean is what's throwing us off. It's usually what someone says when they're playing around, but it has been documented like in the book BTS Icons of K-Pop by Adrian Besley that Suga was not a fan of Bang Si Hyuk back when he started as a trainee. But it seems the pair are on better terms now, 10 years later. What's not in question here is Suga's connection to his bandmates. The rapper has shown his appreciation for each member over the years together, so if he was tricked into joining, he definitely has enjoyed his time in the group because of its members and loyal fans. Suga is one of three rappers that make up BTS. Alongside RM, the two are listed as main rappers, with J-Hope backing them up. Yoongi has also written and produced a variety of songs for the group, including DNA. In an interview with Elle magazine, Suga revealed, All the songs I've written, they made me a better person and helped me grow up. 
There's no denying Suga is talented, as are all of the other members of the popular group. The seven of them bring a lot of different elements to the table, and while it might not always be a cakewalk, they do actually seem to like each other. Though Suga reveals that it was difficult to live together at the start, telling Paper Magazine, seven men with different values living together was not easy. It was difficult for all of us to focus our thoughts on one single point, but looking back, they are all good memories. So no hard feelings here, especially from the so-called grandpa of the group. That's right, our rapper extraordinaire has gained the persona of the old man of the group, and he isn't even the oldest member. Case in point, he fell asleep in the middle of an interview with People magazine. It's okay, Suga, even the biggest K-pop stars need a nap from time to time. Another nickname? Lil Meow Meow, which was given to him by fans, and while some will say he greatly resembles our feline friends, it does show how fans love him for his softer side. Also, cats are a big fan of naps. But how does Suga actually feel about being in BTS? Well, he obviously loves his bandmates. In his 27 tweet for J-Hope's birthday, Suga shared a photo of J-Hope in a wig with the caption translating to, The mom of Yoonji's house. It's also well documented that Suga loves the other members of BTS and would have their backs when it's needed. Behind that tough exterior is a warm and fuzzy interior. Sadly, fans are going to have to wait to see Suga on tour since the group's Map of the Soul 7 tour was postponed due to COVID-19. And the postponement has fans worried the rapper could leave the group. Well, don't worry just yet. Looks like Suga is sticking around. This isn't the first time fans have worried Suga has left the group. The ARMY did a deep dive into why Suga was absent from a photo the guys took with Ariana Grande at the 2019 Grammys. It's not hard to jump to conclusions when six of the group's members are present. Fans were quickly on the case doing their own deep dive into why Yoongi was missing. Turns out the star was actually in the building, just not present for the snap, with the official BTS Instagram sharing the photo of Suga on the same date. Phew. So what is Lil Meow Meow up to these days? With the tour postponed for now, and we know Suga likes to keep himself occupied, what has he been doing during these COVID-19 times? He's been busy releasing and promoting his second mixtape under his other alias, August D. Nicely enough, Suga's rap alias August D still keeps his BTS roots. His alias is actually Suga spelled backwards with the TD standing for the underground rap group he was a member of before BTS, called D-Town. He actually performed one of their songs at the Hit It competition that started it all. From rap competitions to solo endeavors, in 2016, August D released his first solo mixtape, a self-titled debut, which Time Magazine called a surprise a surprisingly raw and honest set of tracks that saw him facing down demons of mental health and embracing his rap bravado over raw hip-hop beats. Now the rapper is back with D2, his sophomore release that is already making waves in the industry and with fans. In an interview with Time Magazine about his second solo effort, Yoongi says, Personally, I have become more mature compared to 2016. More mature is right, it's only natural that an artist would change over the course of four years, but is there a large difference between August D and his persona Suga from BTS? Yoongi tells Time, There is a lot more that I can openly express and that I can show a more raw side to myself with August D. What's similar is that both sing of dreams and hope. And what could August D hope for more than a number one single? Well, he got just that when the second track from D2, Daichuita, debuted at number one on Billboard's rap digital song sales charts. By being the most purchased track the week of June 6th, Suga made history becoming the first South Korean rapper to hit number one on the rap digital song sales chart. Suga tells Apple Music that the mixtape is a documentation of myself as a 28-year-old. This is the output of my time in quarantine. In a way, it was a creative silver lining. It was a time during which I was able to learn, again, the meaning of the phrase, do too. But don't worry, BTS fans, D2 might be a solo effort, but Suga hasn't forgotten his BTS roots. In the video for Daichuta, Jin and Jungkook make a cameo, quarreling with each other in a quick background fight, and fellow main rapper RM is featured on one of the mixtape's tracks. Suga is definitely keeping it in the family. And while his release for his second mixtape didn't go exactly as planned due to the global pandemic, during these strange times of isolation, Suga is remaining positive. Telling Time Magazine, It's good to know that it's fine when things go in an unintended direction, because you can always start over again. Keep calm, take the next best option, and move forward.
It's clear that Suga loves being in BTS. From his respect and admiration for the guys in the group, and from the mere fact that he has formed lasting friendships with the other members of the band. And he might have branched out into solo territory with two mixtapes, he still has a lot left to do with the popular K-pop band. Like their next tour, for example, we can't forget about that. How could you forget about that? So while we wait for more music and a tour from our favorite seven guys, thankfully we do have Augusty's latest mixtape to hold us over. So was Suga tricked into joining BTS? It's clear that big hit entertainment's Bang Si Hyuk obviously wanted to do a hip hop group originally, and maybe just didn't tell Suga about the change until after he had signed the contract, a simple misunderstanding. Either way, Yoongi is living his best life. Doing double duty as a solo rapper and boy band member and loving every second of it. So with all of the evidence provided, what do you think? Is Suga just joking around when he says he was tricked into joining BTS? Or is he being completely serious? Let us know what you think in the comment section and then click subscribe for more new videos from us here at The Taco. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.